Good evening everybody, Chris Jones back again with the world's worst fishing and today we are starting, Cami quit barking, we are starting a mega order. Cami, enough, sorry about that. So we are starting a big order today, this is a 72 bag all custom color monster, I mean we are doing mean green laminates, uh, we are doing split tail colors and we're making pretty much everything I have uh, with different scent, different salt content, different everything. So it's gonna be a challenge and we're gonna jump in. Okay, so the first color, I'm gonna start with the easiest one first. I have two cups of Plastisol. I have to make six bags of punch bugs. And it's a really cool color that I made years ago and it's black with a ton of red glitter. And originally I did it as a laminate. One side was just black, the other side was black with red. These are just solid. So, like I said, this is going to be a fairly simple color. We're just gonna load it up with black color in here. That should be enough. If you really wanna get nitty gritty, about 40 to 50 drops of black per measuring cup seems to get a really good result it's translucent enough that you can see the glitter in it and uh but it's not completely see-through um so we're gonna go ahead for black you don't need a whole lot of heat stabilizer but i like to use a little bit anyway and i just like the way it smells and um we're gonna do maybe just a little bit of softener here never hurts um and then we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and degas it cold and cook it up. And uh, we're gonna kinda go a little bit at a faster pace here, because this video, I have so many different things to show you. It's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be really awesome. Um, but I can't spend too much time on one particular thing. So I will meet you back after this is cooked, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get the molds filled. Okay, please forgive all the background noise. My wife started the dryer over here on the other side of the garage, and my neighbor has his riding lawnmower outside. So uh, we're gonna continue nonetheless. So this particular um, order, he wanted this color. Uh, the customer wanted the black with red, extra salty. So we are going to salt it as if it were a Cinco which is one quarter uh, measuring cup of salt per measuring cup of Plastisol. So I had two measuring cups of Plastisol, so I need two scoops of salt. And that is a really, I have found at least, that is a really good uh, ratio to have. So we're gonna bring the camera on over here a little bit more. And now it's time for the glitter. We are going to use the big spoon because we have a lot of glitter. So it's gonna get medium red and little red. So we're gonna start with the medium red. And this is the larger, this is a half teaspoon. So we are really gonna load this up. So that right there was three half teaspoons. And then we're gonna do the same with the uh, .015. Well, it's not, it's not written on here, but this is small red. So we're gonna do one scoop, two scoops, and three scoops. All right, now we are ready to shoot. So I have our punch bug molds laid out there. And uh, again, sorry about all the background noise, but uh, I, I have to do these when I can do these kind of a thing. So there's one, there's two. And one quick tip about your injector, it's always good to put a little worm oil in it so that you can really lubricate all the O-rings 
and that will keep the o-rings from deteriorating over time which can lead to uh, accidents and it keeps the action nice and smooth all right let's see what we have and there it is the black with red punch bug that is it right there okay there are the black with red punch bugs that is exactly 48 of them which equals six bags so now we're moving on to the next color and we're gonna go ahead and start that right now okay next we start some of the real craziness this is going to be a custom version of mean green and mean green really sorry about this dryer noise guys i'm about to go cut the dang thing off mean green is a mix between watermelon and emerald green and i actually showed it to you in a, in a former video where i uh, did split colors but anyway we're gonna take emerald green and i've and i have three measuring cups of plastic so we're going to have to put a bunch of this in there. But we're going to do about two parts emerald green to about one part watermelon. So we're going to add our watermelon here. And that should give us what we want. We'll take a look here. Oh yeah. That is looking perfect. And that is it. That is a really cool effect. Um, Bruce McElroy, who works at Lureworks at Spike It, told me how to make this color. And, uh, and it really has a cool effect. So we're going to add plenty of heat stabilizer. And a little bit of softener. I'm kind of on a softener kick right now. Which, um, all it does is it just adds a little bit of movement. I don't put a whole lot of softener in there because I'm really big on value. I don't want your baits just tearing up um, after just a few casts. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go ahead and cook it up and then we will be back with you. Okay, so here's our mean green. And let's see, this is the order right here. Every single line there is something different. Uh, so these we want a medium salt blend. Okay. So medium salt is about half of my Cinco recipe. Well, that's what, that's what I think when I think medium salt. So that's three cups of Plastisol. So we're gonna go, and this is what one cup would be right here. So we're gonna do the recipe for one cup plus plus a little extra and we're gonna call it done I I don't want to brighten the color too much because the white salt brightens the color and I want it to stay pretty true to form pretty true to the mean green look so that's gonna do it for salt and then next he wants what do we want we need 0 0.035 green flake and point, okay, and the little silver flake, the fine silver. So, here we go. Here's our green flake. And again, this is the half teaspoon. This is the larger scoop. So we're going to do that. We're going to do two of those. And you know what? We'll go ahead and do three. I've never made this color before, so I don't know what green flake looks like in the mean green uh, formula, but we're gonna find out. But I do agree that this will look awesome, the little silver. So we're going to do a big full scoop of the little silver, and then maybe a little bit more. Let's see what that gives us here. I think that's gonna be pretty cool looking let's go ahead and try to get that stirred in as best that we can get the camera a little closer 
Oh yeah. Let's see what we have. You know what? That's not too bad. Okay, ready, set, go. There it is. There is the mean green uh, fluke with the green flake and the little silver. All right, it is boom shad time. Here we go. Oh, look at this dent right here. Ooh, that is nasty. But hey, those turned out good. See, I kinda know what I'm doing. Last but not least, a little trick worm action here. If I can do it. There we go. Oh yeah. Some serious light glare there. I like those. Okay, so here's what we have so far tonight. Here's the Ming Green with the uh, silver and green fluke. Here are the boom shads, and then we have some trick worms. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I need four bags of those, four bags of those, four bags of those, four bags of frogs, four bags of Cinco's, four bat, and four bags of um, candy canes. And that's just for this color. Then we're doing this color laminated with a black color, and then we're doing this color laminated with a silver color. And then we're doing a bunch of crazy things in between, doing split tail colors, all within those three big categories. Uh, but it's all mean green base. This was like the only oddball out. So this is a humongous order, and uh, I'm gonna be doing it over the next few nights. Uh, I, only get a, I only get so many hours during the work week. And uh, so we're gonna keep cracking at this one. And uh, it's gonna be quite a process, so I'm gonna take you along. And uh, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be one monstrosity of a video. Okay, brief update. Uh, it is Wednesday night. I, uh, I had to take last night off, but uh, we're back at it again. So we're still working on this green color. This is basically day two. I had to remake. You'll see this is blank. I had to remake all of those. Well, I'm going to have to remake all of those black with red crawls because they turned out way too firm. So I'm gonna have to add a bunch of softener and get those feeling right. But I've got those right there. And um, so I've, I've got my big worm molds filled and, uh, and I'm steady working on it. So this uh, this is phase two out of like three, four or five phases to this order. And uh, I, I would have two of them done, but I have to remake those crawls. So I'm gonna bang those out real quick. And, uh, and then we're gonna move on to some laminates. Okay, I got the crawls remade. So everyone say a prayer that these uh, don't turn out too firm. Welcome back everybody. We are gonna continue this massive order and we're gonna do it right this time. I have some Hakishur Munich Gold. This is a wonderful, wonderful German lager. And today we're gonna be doing some of the tough parts of this order. I have to make split tail laminate frogs and pretty much everything else too. So I have to do uh, the mean green that we've been doing the whole time. I have to do the mean green laminated over a black, uh, it's a black color with blue and green flake. The kicker is that the frog legs and the tail portions of the bait are only either the green or the black, depending on what the customer order was. And then I have to laminate on top of that. So on the frogs, I'm shooting the black first. I'm leaving the black tail, uh, excuse me, the, the two black legs in the mold. And then I'm laminating the green with the black on top of the black legs. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit complicated, but I think it's gonna be a really cool effect. Um, this kind of stuff takes a really long time. Um, 
so I'm kind of pacing myself as I go, but we're going to go ahead and jump on in. All right, so we have our black legs in there. We're going to go ahead and close the mold, and then we're going to laminate on top of it. Okay, here we go. We have both plastics at a very even temperature. So we're just gonna shake them up one more time. Now we're gonna draw up. The green side is the top, which goes on the right side on the frog mold. So now we are laminating over the black feet. All right, that feels good and solid. Now we do it for the next mold. All right, feels good. Draw up. You wanna fill up your sprues. And just like everything else, evacuate back into the cups. And then we're gonna put those in the microwave to keep them warm. Okay, I really hope that these turned out because that was a lot of work. Here we go. That looks pretty cool. Look at that, folks. There it is, green top, black bottom, and then you can see the, the um, merger of the black feet. Okay, so next up, we're gonna show you the final color um, formula, or, or, or the final phase of this order. It's mean green again, but it's laminated with a silver pearl bottom. So I'm gonna do the swim baits first because these are the most difficult. And the tail portion is left just mean green. And then the rest of it is laminated with the mean green over the silver pearl. And the way that my swim bait mold is laid out, the tails stick up vertically. So it is very hard to get the tails back in there and then shut the mold on top of it. So I probably won't offer these anymore, uh, the split tails, they're just so hard to do. And um, so the way that I have to do them, I have to basically worm oil uh, <laughs> these mold cavities so that they will fit back in here. And you know, I, that, that I can get them in and then I have to oil them up so that I can fit uh, the, the, the mold back on top of it. So it's it's one thing to get them back in the cavity, but then I have to get a mold to slam shut on top of them. And this is quite the tricky part. So we'll see if we can get it. I have to do it just right or else it does not work. That actually worked. Here we go. This is the mean green with silver laminate, boom shad, with the green tail. Okay, here we go. Do I suck? Hey, it's not too bad. Let's see what we have. Yeah. So there's the silver and green with the green tail. Okay, let's open one of these up. And then I've got to get moving. Oh my God, look at this, folks. Oh man, I'm sucking today. Well, and all of this is now waste. I can't remelt any of it because it's a laminate in the trash. Awesome sauce. Okay, maybe the second mold turned out. That wouldn't be such a big deal if I could remelt and reuse. Okay, here we go. At least they filled in. Perfect. There we go. Silver backside or underside, and then there's the green top. All right, now I just have to mix up more plastic and try to get enough of these made um, so that I can keep moving.
All right, now we're gonna finish up the final stage of this order. This is the mean green laminated with the silver pearl, um, and some of them are split colors, so it'll be like a green tail with the green and silver pearl laminate over that. Um, I've already done the frogs in this color and the swim baits, I believe. You've probably seen those earlier. Now we have to do it in flukes, cinkos, trick worms, and then the big nine inch candy cane. Um, and I've got to do th three bags of each of those. Uh, so still quite a bit left to do. I have finished up all of the other parts of this order. And uh, hopefully once this is all done, I can lay it out inside and we'll get a shot of the whole thing. Uh, it's massive. And uh, to be honest, I'm relieved to, uh, to, to be seeing the finish line because uh, I've got to get to regular orders, website orders and other custom orders. And uh, so there'll still be more videos to come. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try to finish this bad boy up. So these are the black with red punch bugs. These are the solid custom mean green trick worms, stogies, flukes, the big worm, the candy cane, boom shads, and some frogs. These are the silver and green with the split green tail laminates. These are just the silver and green laminate trick worm. These are cool. This might be my favorite part is the frog with the laminate black bottom. Sorry, I'm trying to use my phone for some lighting. With split black tails. That's a really cool effect. That's the same thing with the fluke, except the tails are green instead of black. Same with the boom shad. It's the laminate with the green. And I mean, it just goes on and on and on over here. We are finally done. So for this order, we have to package certain ones, uh, certain certain baits with certain scents. So these split tail flukes, I have four bags worth. Two bags need to have cherry scent, and two bags need to have garlic scent. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be 10 right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna lubricate them up with a little bit of worm oil. You don't wanna put too much worm oil in there because if those sit in that bag for, uh, for, for too long, that worm oil will completely absorb into the baits and it can soften them to a point to where they're like way too soft and it can even make them expand. So you don't just wanna drown your baits in worm oil. And then here is some cherry scent. So we're gonna add probably 15 or 20 drops. And you wanna move it around so that you can really get the scent in there. And as these baits settle into this bag, the scent will get mixed in more and more and more. And that's basically what we're doing. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into this video. Hope you enjoyed it. This was the biggest, most complicated, most challenging order I've ever received. And i um, glad I could take you guys along. I don't get orders like this all the time. Uh, you can be sure of that. But um, thanks for tuning in. I'm actually going on vacation next week. So anyone who has pending orders, I'm gonna try to get them done before I go on vacation. Uh, as you can see, I've been a little busy with this order. Um, so, you know, if you email me and I don't respond right away, um, it's probably because I don't have very good service on the island and, um, and I'm taking a couple days off. But when I get back, we'll be back to it. We'll be filling some more orders, hopefully, and uh, definitely shooting some more videos. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on the World's Worst Fishing.